Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in today's video, we're gonna learn all about the multi-window feature that allows you to use two applications on your screen at the same time. So to get into multi-window, all we need to do is click on the recent button application. Then here at the top, you will see a few different options that you have. So you have close, here's the multi-window button or the snap window. So if I want to use YouTube as a multi-window app, all I need to do is select that and it's gonna show up on the top of my screen. Then down here, I can select an app that is already in use. Maybe something like texting that I was doing, I want it to be on the other side, I can do that. But here, I'm just gonna select more apps. And then let's go into, let's say calculator. So now I have those two applications open at the same time. If I click this middle bar, it will give me a few different options where one, I can pin to the top, here I can reverse the order, so change it from top to bottom. So if I click that, it's gonna swap the sides of the screen they're on. Here, if I hold this down, it's gonna tell me that you can open one in pop-up view. So whichever one has the little blue border, that's the one that it would be interacting with. So maybe I want to pop up this, I click on that, and now my calculator is going to pop up into its own application but I'm gonna close that. So now I wanna go back into multi-window. All I need to do is click on the recent apps, select multi-window, and then I can choose the second app that I want to go to. So I'm gonna select more apps, and this time I'm actually going to use text messaging. So I can click that right here. So here I'm gonna go into my channel trailer, and then I'm going to click on the pin window. So as what you can do here is I want to select this portion of the screen to stay at the very top. So I'm gonna click done, and now it has pinned YouTube to the very top of my screen. So now I can be texting, and that video will stay up at the top of the screen, and I can't accidentally remove it, or I can continue to work without interrupting the video, and it will play. So I can pause that, I click on the middle here, and then I can turn off the snap window right there. So if I wanna close a multi-window, all I need to do is pull the bar all the way down to the bottom or the top of the screen, and it will close multi-window. Another way to get into multi-window, I can click the Recent Apps button, click on YouTube, and then if I want to click Home, I can find another application I want to use, open that up, and if it's supported, it will show both of those apps at once. Now let's go into the multi-window settings and check for a few other things that we can do. So I'm gonna go in here to the settings, click advanced features, and click multi-window. So the top one here is that I can use the recent apps button to enable multi-window. So that means when I hold down on here, it is now going to automatically show multi-window, which is really cool. Um, if I wanna change a few other settings, I can click on here, and instead of doing the split view, I can actually have it do the snap window when holding down the recent apps button. If I go back here and turn on pop-up view action, is what this can do is when I pull an app from the top down, it's gonna put that app into its own window. Let me show you what I mean. When I go into YouTube, I can then pull down from the top right or left-hand corner of the screen and then pop out YouTube into its own little application. If I want to go into another app, so let's say I'm in messaging, pull that down. You gotta make sure that you are off the screen doing that. There we go. And then I can have another app and you have minimize option up there. You can also do full screen or close it. So here, when you minimize, you have those little floating heads. So I can click on that and then I can choose which app I want to have open. And there we have our floating applications. So then if I wanna close these out, I can do that or I can make it go full screen. So let's go back into text messaging and I'm going to open up the apps here. So the apps that show up here are the only supported applications. So Netflix and a few other apps will not be supported, but this is now a universal Android thing. So many other Android phones have the multi-window feature. So a lot of apps are being supported to show up in here. So another awesome feature on multi-window is being able to drag and drop from one app to the other. So here, when I have the text messaging app on the top and the web, on the bottom, 
If I highlight any text and then I drag it up to the top of the screen, you'll see that it copied it in there and I can send that as a text message. So if I go to any other text, highlight it, I can instantly drag and drop that to the other side of the screen. So the main thing you'll use that for is copying text over into the message field. When you're in multi-window, you also have the option to quickly change applications. So you can see that while I'm selected on this window, I can click the recent apps and go to a different application. Another way to close multi-window is to hold down on the recent apps and that will close out multi-window. I hope you guys enjoyed this video all about the multi-window on the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos because I talk all about your smart home to your smartphone. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.